a rock that goes on a walk. No legs, no wheels, no leash, just vibes. One day it's here. The next, five feet to the left, no footprints, no help, no explanation. And the worst part, it's not even trying to hide it. Just casually cruising across the driest, hottest place in North America like it's got errands to run. Welcome to Racetrack Playa in Death Valley, California. Home to rocks with more wanderlust than most people during a midlife crisis. These bad boys, also known as sailing stones, don't roll downhill because there's no downhill. They don't get pushed by pranksters because there are no pranksters. And no, it's not the wind, at least, not in the way you're probably thinking. Some of these rocks weigh over 300 pounds, that's roughly two adult humans and one broken New Year's resolution. And yet, they slide across the flat desert floor leaving long trails behind them, perfectly etched in the dirt like a signature. As if they're saying, Hey, I was here, took a little trip, felt cute, might drift again later. For nearly a century, scientists were as clueless as everyone else. There were theories, oh so many theories, and aliens, earthquakes, giant magnets, secret government experiments. Yes, someone actually said magnets, because why not throw in some cartoon logic while we're at it? People even camped out with cameras for days just to catch them in the act. But the stones? Silent, still like they knew they were being watched. And just when you think you've cracked it, they switch up. Sometimes they move in pairs. Sometimes one zigzags while the others go straight. One rock even pulled a full 180 degree turn mid-glide like it changed its mind halfway through. So what's really going on? The truth, when it finally came out, was less supernatural but still pretty unbelievable. It turns out, under very rare conditions, a thin layer of ice forms on the dry lake bed overnight. We're talking razor thin. Think, window pane meets glass sheet meets Death Valley being weird again. Then, a light breeze, yes, just a breeze, pushes these stones as the ice slowly melts in the sun. The rocks glide almost like passengers on a conveyor belt made of nature's most dramatic mood swings. But here's the catch. This perfect combo of freezing, melting, and light wind only happens maybe once every few years. No wonder it took forever to figure out. Mother Nature basically pulled off the world's longest slow-motion prank, duh. Oh, and get this. Scientists finally captured the movement on camera in 2014. That's right. These rocks kept their secrets longer than some people keep a gym membership. So yes, the rocks technically move because of ice and wind, but let's not pretend they're not being at least a little bit shady about it. They've been gliding for hundreds, maybe even thousands, of years without telling anyone how or why. And now that we finally know, they haven't moved